The Giants 2021 season has come to an end. Joining me now is Giants defensive lineman Leonard Williams. Leo, thanks for taking the time. Of course. You know, looking back on this year, you guys had a lot of adversity. This season obviously didn't go the way that you would have hoped. But what's one thing that you'll take from it that you'll remember about what this team went through this season? Honestly, just a lot of great teammates I've met uh, during this year. And it, it, it showed me a lot about, you know, people's character and my character uh, personally as well. Um, I definitely grown a lot of relationships with guys on the team um, and through all the adversity and my hardship uh, I think me and my defensive line specifically uh, stayed really close and tight and almost made us even even closer group just because we were kind of going through this together and uh, I think a lot of guys on the team in general had that type of mindset where you know we're in this together and we're fighting together uh, we're out there sweating and competing together and you know, win or lose, we're, out, we're taking it together, so. Yeah, and you've, you've been such a constant and such a, a strength in this defensive line and that defensive unit. Coming off a season like 2020 where you had double-digit sacks, did you have any pressure on yourself early on in the season to kind of execute or to kind of repeat that? I mean, I honestly don't think there's ever a year or a week or a play that there's not pressure. This type of league is a... Uh, you know, if you don't put some some type of like, what are you playing for? You know, it's like there's always going to be pressure. Um, you know, I, I put pressure on myself more than anyone, to be honest. And I just because I want to be great, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm always looking at, you know, what I can do to get better and, and stats and help out the team and stuff like that. So, well, it's one of those things, too, because it's always there's so many things that don't translate to a box score that go into a successful defense. And when you look at this year, how did you grow most as a player? Uh, like I was saying, I think I grew most like just mentally. Um, you know, it was a tough season. I've had a little bit of injuries near the end of the season that I had to play through. Uh, just playing through like a lot of adversity and uh, being able to push through and, and keep my mental and still make plays and, and affect the, the game somehow and help my team. And uh, I think that's where my, my growth was most and just mentally. And in this off season now, giving your body some rest, giving your mind some rest, how do you balance that while staying ready for yeah. the years to come? Uh, I think because I'm older, I kind of have like more of a system schedule type of thing now. Um, I kind of spend my two first months of the off season in Florida at a house of athletes. I have a coach Troy down there and, uh, you know, I call him guru and stuff like that all the time. He's been doing it for so long. And uh, well, the reason why I like to work with him in the beginning half of the off season is because he helps me with like all my uh, flexibility and core and just, uh, you know, ankle mobility, knee mobility and all that type of stuff. And uh, as I'm, it's like my way of resting while still, you know, recovering, getting my body back ready for training, basically. And then uh, the rest of the off season, I go to California at a sports academy. And that's where I kind of like put on more bulk, more weight and, um, you know, just like more running and that type of stuff. And spend some time at home, too. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, get yeah. that, that grounding Two feeling. Two warm places. Two warm places. Cali. I don't yeah. blame you. I got to get out of this cold. <laughs> All right. Well, Leonard Williams, have a great off season. Wishing you continued success. Thanks for joining us today. Of course. Thank you.